Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. I had to reshoot the video because I had all my, my shortcuts up top to YPP and Mike's apartment and all that, and we're trying to be family-friendly as much as possible. So, first off, I want y'all to pay special attention, you know, to my, to my, where is that? Right! What do we do? To this uh my haircut that I got. Yes, I did have Fortnite going to the background game, taking over the nation. I did get my hair tightened up today. And uh, you know, it is I'm definitely fresh from the barbershop. But listen, man, let me understand y'all something real quick. The reason the, the Cavs, I'm not gonna be like the Cavs in trouble because of what the average person is gonna say just because they lost. People asked me before the series even started what I thought, and I was just like the Cavs in trouble because I mean, listen, man, you got three players in double figures. Okay. Let's, just, let's, just, let's look at it objectively. You got three players in double figures on their team. LeBron hit 51. One, two, three, four. Five players hit double figures. And this is actually pretty close. All You got four of your main start, four of your starters in double figures. Like, it's just a better team. I just feel like at the end of it all, LeBron is going to be overwhelmed. And there's just not enough to throw. He, he, he may have enough help. But when you score 51 points on... I own almost two of three shooting, uh, 19 of 30, 32. That, you can't get more efficient than that, than 10 of 11 free throws. You can't get more efficient than what LeBron is doing. All right? 51 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, still in the block. I feel like LeBron is the best when he's scoring 30, 10, and 10, or 30, 15, and 10, you know, something like that. Because when he's able to get 10 assists or so, or 10 assists or more, we know that his team is getting involved. He had eight assists tonight. All eight of them probably would have came in love because it seems like nobody else really came to play. And that, that brings me to my one thing that I always tell people. This is the one thing that I, t I, I talk the most about when I talk about the Golden State Warriors and basketball in general. Draymond Green is the cog that makes them go. I don't care what nobody say. You might like Steph. You might like Clay. You might like whatever. But this is what, this is the problem with the Golden State Warriors against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, the Golden State Warriors only need two players to show up in order for them to win the game 90% of the time. They need two players to show up. And Draymond Green shows up every game. He comes to play every game. If, if I had a favorite player in the league, it would be Draymond Green because he brings it every game. No matter what his stat line says, you feel Draymond's presence Every single game. There have been times that I watched Draymond Green play this play the game of basketball, have one point, two or three rebounds, and one assist, and I'm sitting here saying he is easily the best player on the floor because of the way that he influences the game. A lot of people can't see that. This man shot five of nine tonight. 13 points, three blocks, five ste five steals, nine assists, eleven rebounds. And one of, the, all right, one of those assists was kind of counterfeit because he kind of got a rebound and slapped it out to your boy. But that ain't the point. The point is, his, he makes his presence felt regardless of how many points he scores. So he, he's going to come to play every single game. And that three that he hit in overtime was one of the biggest shots of the entire game because that, that that what that did was put the game on out of reach like it just egged it on some players are afraid of the moment draymond is not afraid of the moment it ain't a moment too big for that man that young man he played back he plays basketball the right way a undersized whatever you want to call him six seven by 235 you know what i'm saying he's, he's taller than me but he we probably weigh nearly the same thing and the young man plays the plays the game of basketball as correctly or the right way as much as, like, I could teach somebody how to play like Draymond Green. You can't teach anybody how to play like Steph or whatever. But let me, let me get off Draymond Green's uh, jock. Uh, all I'm telling you is that that young man comes to play every night. So if all we need is Steph or Clay or Kevin Durant to explode, I'm not talking about we. I'm not a Golden State Warriors fan. I'm a Atlanta Hawks fan. We're trash. But if all, if all, that's, if that's all they need is one of those guys, to go off, it's a wrap. LeBron went off for 51 tonight. He can't do any more than what he did. My God, I'm not putting limitations on LeBron because I know that he can get busy. 
but he can't do any more than what he's doing. He can't carry the team no more. And then Tristan Thompson want to get stupid at the end of the game, get himself thrown out of the game, and then possibly get suspended the next game. It don't matter anyway. He, he's he's not he's not impactful uh, for for that team. He's not he's not an imperative piece of the team. But I mean, you you got five rebounds. The only reason that Tristan Thompson is on the team is to get rebounds, and you get twenty point. I mean, you get twenty minutes and five rebounds. So so I mean, like obviously your your presence isn't imperative. You know, but you don't ever want to get thrown out of the game. You got to be smarter than that. And then you can't, when emotions are running hot, you cannot let Draymond egg you on and then, you know, make you more or less. I don't know if they're going to interpret that as a punch or what they're going to interpret it as. I know it wasn't a punch, but I, I know it wasn't a punch. But we don't know what they're gonna call it, you know, in New York or wherever, wherever, they, wherever the headquarters are. When they look at that, they may even throw, they may give Draymond a technical, and and that might put him over his his quarter for the playoffs, and he might have to sit out of the game. We don't know what they're going to do. But my thing is, you never give them ammunition. You never force them to make that type of decision. You never want to put when you're already behind the eight ball, and you clearly have the lesser team. You don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize your team. Now, LeBron, he shouldn't have, I mean, he shouldn't have forearm checked Steph. Maybe Steph shouldn't have walked up on him. Obviously, they're going to let some things go, but it is the playoffs. But anytime you go toward the head yeller area, you're getting thrown out of the game or they're going to call a technical or, you know, something's going to happen. They're not going to let you go toward the head area of any player at any time ever on purpose. And, and you don't get thrown out of the game, so that's why he, that's why uh, Tristan Thompson got thrown out. But when, when I just don't know if they're gonna call it a punch or not. Um, and if they call it a punch, then we gotta take and see if anybody came off the bench. We gotta do all of that stuff, man. It's like this is a bad situation. Hopefully they'll just let it blow over and they'll say he was off. Well, obviously they're going to do something because they said that because Tristan Thompson was no longer in the game, they couldn't give him another technical or anything. So they're probably going to give him a game. I don't think that's gonna affect anything. Maybe Larry Nance being able to play the entire game. Will uh will will be better. Maybe Jeff Green gets more minutes. That's really, you know, I don't think he can play any more minutes than what he played. But um, you know, we're gonna see, man. I don't, I, I just don't get why you lose your head and your composure, knowing that you have to come back Sunday and play again and try to uh and try to beat these guys. You're gonna have a hard enough time beating this team as it is. And like I said, they only have to have one player, two players to really really show up. Draymond Green gonna show up every time. You can pencil him in. So he's going to show up. So unless the, the other three just completely poop the bed, the Golden State Warriors are are going to be, I mean, I'm not saying crown them because I'll never bet against the King, LeBron James. I will never bet against LeBron James. He ain't the greatest player I've, I've ever seen. He's the best player. He probably, he might be the best player I've, I've ever seen, the most complete player I've ever seen, except he don't have a really outside shot. I never bet against LeBron James. He, he might be the best player I ever seen. Not the greatest. It's like Randy Moss is the best route receiver I ever seen touch the field, but we know who the greatest is. Jerry Rice the greatest. Y'all, we have to be able to separate those things. So LeBron might be the best player I ever seen. Other than uh, you know, you got Mike and Kareem as far as the greatest, and then you got like LeBron. He he's really up there, but he he's not the greatest yet. He might can get there. Who knows? His his legacy in in finish being written. But like I said, Draymond Green a hell of a player. He, he one of the best players in the league, one of the most underrated players in the league as far as what he does for his team and what he means to his team. So yeah, that is what it is, man. Y'all take it for what it's worth. Let me know if I'm wrong, man. I could be wrong. Only thing I'm saying is, only thing I'm saying is, when you when you really when you really look at the game and the impact that Draymond has on the game, he has a huge impact for that team. Without Draymond, I don't think I don't even think like even with even with Clay Durant and Curry, without Draymond, I don't know how many games they really win. I don't even know if they win these finals. But Draymond clearly tips tip, tips the scales for me. I feel like he he really tips the scale. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, y'all let me know if you agree, if you disagree. I think only, like I said, the, the whole point is only one other person got to show up. Draymond is going to show up every night. So they only need two people to show up. Draymond going to show up every night. So one of those three... And 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 it's, and it's a GG in most cases. LeBron kept it close. He did everything he he possibly could have. I hate it for my man. Uh, LeBron, listen, man. Let me tell you something. If you don't win, 
we just need to go back to whatever year, what it was, 2008, I think it was, 2006. I can't even remember, man. I'm so old right now. Hey, you just got to walk off the court like you did against uh against uh what it was San Antonio when San Antonio beat y'all. You just got to walk off the court, man, and go somewhere and go get you a championship. You have my permission. Go get you a championship. You're too good of a player to deal with the bullshit that they've had that they've given you in Cleveland. Now you put that team together, so it is 99% your fault. But uh, you need to go somewhere where they're gonna tell you no, and they're gonna put a team. Let's just go somewhere where there's already a team. Just follow Kyrie, or go or go to uh, go to the 76ers, or go to, to San Antonio and, and, and play with them, or go play with the Rockets, or do do something with your life, Shawty. Don't go back to Cleveland, please. You ain't gonna win the championship in Cleveland. The salary cap are already screwed. It, you you cruised it. It is what it is. You getting what you? I'm not gonna say you getting what you deserve because you're a hell of a player. You deserve more, but. You gotta, you you gotta just let go of this Cleveland dream. It ain't happening in Cleveland. I don't see y'all winning the championship in Cleveland ever again. You know, with this team, I don't, I don't think it can be done. Not with the Golden State. If any other team was out there, yeah, I'd be like bet. But Golden State did it, man. You might just have to go do your super team. You got my permission, dog. And with that being said, I appreciate each and every one of y'all watching the video. I'm dropping 2K real life content reviews and everything daily. We're going to be on the grind for May. Hopefully, we can get this thing popping, man. And uh, like I said, y'all let me know, am I right about the Draymond thing? Uh, how dumb was what Tristan Thompson did? And do we think LeBron can pull this out? And if he can't pull it out, should he go to another team? And if he does go to another team, let me know where you think he should go. Or should he stay in Cleveland? And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! Hey, y'all let me know if I, if I should put some music in the background or something like that next time, man. I, I'm lazy tonight. I just want to get this up. Be 60 out this mug.